Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the discoveries I've made uh, on my Marzumi spoke machine. Now the machine is uh, still quite new. It doesn't have any wear on it, uh, but uh, some of the things that I've found that it can do are um, uh, quite amazing, actually. So, I'm going to be uh, showing you how uh, it will extend threads without mashing on the old threads, but first I want to show you something really cool. If we need to shorten a thre uh, spoke uh, by an amount that does not totally uh, cut off the old threads, first off we'll, I'll just show you how this cutter, how cleanly this cutter works. Okay, I've cut about uh, four millimeters off that thread. So, if I take a nipple, the cut is so clean that I can just thread that on there with no resistance at all. Now that's a very fine thread, you know, we're talking about a 56 threads per inch on a, a 2 millimeter uh, spoke. So, to be able to do that, to cut that cleanly, that it'll thread on there with no resistance at all is, is pretty amazing. Again, it's a new machine. Uh, once the... Uh, cutter wears in a little bit, uh, maybe it won't be able to do that. Anyway, so now we want to cut a full thread on there. Insert it in. I do that every time I go to the wrong lever. Cut a new thread on there. And uh, once again, it picked up the old thread, didn't mash down on it. Uh, it seems to seems to follow the original thread every time, and just extend it. And uh, does a very nice job. Okay, the next issue I want to talk about is the fact that um, spokes, factory spokes, universally, or at least. Uh, mostly universally, come with 9 millimeters of thread applied. And uh, shop quality spoke machines also are made to apply 9 millimeters of thread. Now 9 millimeters of thread is proper for uh, cases where we're using 12 millimeter nipples, which is, you know, covers most of the, the bicycle industry. Most wheels are uh, quite happy with 12 millimeters uh, nipples. However, uh, some applications like deep V rims, uh, aero rims, and so forth, 12 millimeter nipple does not extend far enough through the rim to get a uh, spoke wrench on it, and um, also it doesn't doesn't look very good when you only have that much of the nipple sticking out. The issue that arises with that is that nine millimeters of thread is not enough to extend fully through the nipple. Now the skirt of the nipple is uh, usually somewhat deeper, so the spoke will actually extend farther in uh, than it will with a 12 millimeter nipple, but even so uh, we see that uh, with 9 millimeters of thread the spoke uh, threads bottom out uh, just about at the bottom of the nipple head. So this is where most wheel builders uh, cut corners out of necessity. Uh, they really have uh, little choice in the matter because they can't source spokes with uh, longer threading so they uh, calculate the spoke length shorter so that uh, the threads won't bottom out in the nipple. The problem with that is that the tension of the spoke is now pulling on the head. The head is unsupported. There's no spoke threaded into it. And over time, uh, we get failure at the head of the nipple. The head of the nipple will actually shear right off. When the spoke threads through the nipple, uh, right into or through the head, Ideally, uh, some builders uh, calculate their length so that, uh, you know, they shoot for the spoke to end at the, the bottom of the slot. Others like to have them pass right through and actually uh, end up flush with the end of the nipple. But when the spoke is threaded all the way into the nipple, then the tension of the spoke actually pushes down on the head so that we don't end up with that shear force at the nipple head. So, what to do? Uh, I found that... I found a way to adapt this machine to actually cut 13, or I shouldn't say cut, rather roll 13 millimeter threads. 
Now the dies, the rolling dies are actually 16 millimeters wide. There's a stopper block in there that stops the insertion of the spoke at the point where it'll apply 9 millimeters of thread. If you look, you can see the line where I've been rolling spoke threads, and if you measure that, that's 9 millimeters across. So there's, you know, we've got uh, 7 millimeters of die that's not being used. So I had a machinist make up another uh, a copy of the stopper block, and uh, with the difference being that where this uh, protrusion here is seven millimeters wide on the uh, one that's in the machine, this one is three millimeters wide, so it, it will allow for 13 millimeters of insertion. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the replacement block in there. Here's the original. You can see how much wider the stopper is. And uh, it's always good to know a good machinist. He made it absolutely precise. Fits in there just perfectly. Okay, so we'll roll this at 13 millimeters. And we can thread on our 16 millimeter nipple, and it threads right through. Perfect. So that's how we can adapt it for uh, 13 millimeter thread. So if you're shopping for a spoke machine, I hope you'll consider the Morizumi. I don't have any stock in the company or anything, but uh, it's uh, certainly an impressive unit. I would highly recommend it.